Make our way up to our left here into the start of the Hunter Rainforest. This is uh, where the most rainfall happens on Maui. They have a gauge set up here that records over 400 inches of rain a year. It's almost always raining. Not often where it's clear up here. A lot of times we're going to stay offshore. Beautiful air today. See more of the cinder cones over here. All these hills running down the northeast side of that fault line. Yeah, covered in vegetation on this side from all that rain. Making our way here out onto uh, East Maui's North Shore. North Shore line up here, it's uh, mostly cliffs and rocks, hardly any beach. A lot of erosion up here in the winter time when you get the big north swells hitting the islands. Water stays a lot more calm up here in the summer, that's when you get uh, bigger swells on the south shores. In front of us here, on us this long row of these tall trees that stick out from the rest. These are eucalyptus trees. A few different varieties of them. They get over 100 feet tall. A look down over at the uh, Hana Highway. The road to Hana, it's 52 miles. Got over 600 turns and 59 bridges. Pretty windy and narrow. A lot of it's just one lane. The road just come up to our right side here. As you come back around, it'll be on the left side. Here, it is to our left here, it's called the Wailuas, where the road gets real narrow. Several valleys that run through it, you see layers of water coming down the valleys. All that water getting fed from the rainforest up above.
The next big valley up ahead of us here, this one's called the K&I. It runs right off the uh, north side of the Haleakala Crater up to our left there. Down on the left side of the valley is another good sized waterfall. It's one of my favorites, it's called uh, Kano. Got a bunch of different tiers to it. Okay, this one's for Gabby. bottoms of a lot of these valleys out here. You see these really light colored trees spread around? These are Kukui nut trees. Hawaii's uh, state tree. They call them candle nuts. They have an oil in them. They're used to burn nowadays. So they're mostly used to make necklaces. side of the uh, K&I Valley here. This whole area is called the Koolau Forest. Uh, Road to Hana runs real close to the shoreline along this stretch. A lot of nice overlooks along that part of the drive. Different dirt uh, roads and trails that run up into the forest here though. A lot of them used by hunters. I'm up here to hunt for deer. And a large population of axis deer on Maui. Sometimes you'll see herds of them running around out here. Easy to see if they're actually moving though. There's another one of these long rows of tall eucalyptus trees. Uh, later on the ground right below these ones, you'll see a pipeline it's tucked down in the fern. Set up out here by a company called EMI, East Maui Irrigation. What they're doing is pumping rainwater from the rainforest, taking it out to the sugarcane fields. They pump over a billion gallons a year out there.
wake up with the clouds are far behind Me, where trouble melts like a lemon drops High above the chimney top, that's where Yeah, make our way out of the rainforest here when we uh, pass over another cattle ranch that's clearing just ahead This one's called P.E. Holo Ranch Yeah, a thousand acres One of the larger ones on Maui all the uh, cattle on this ranch, so they're used for roping. They hold a lot of rodeos up here. Down just past the ranch and to the left called Makawao, where they hold the state's largest rodeo every 4th of July. on the other side of the town of Makawa before all that sugar cane some darker fields these are uh, pineapple fields the Hali'i Miley Pineapple Company where they grow the Maui Gold Pineapple Out our, did the sugar cane field, see a lot of the small reservoirs spread around, used for irrigation. A lot of that water comes from that pipeline that we just saw. Making our way here back into the Kahului airspace. We'll be starting shortly on our final approach back to the helipad.